and here is my cream sweet cream or sweet corn casserole 14 little circles out of this oh my gosh that's two teaspoons of cinnamon and here we are i didn't think it was gonna pop up that easily i gotta get to chopping those onions and you know what i forgot on my plate a piece of sausage and oh my gosh these are delicious isn't that cute and there that's the finished one i wish i had videotaped in there Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. I am working on Christmas decorations. So today I'm going to be making a Christmas Dollar Tree candle holder arrangement. So I'm going to put some glass items together to create a candle holder and we're going to decorate it for the holidays. So let me go ahead and start telling you what supplies you will need. Most of these items are going to be from the Dollar Tree. I have a couple of items that are not from the Dollar Tree and uh, I'll tell you what they are. Okay, the first two things you're going to need, you're going to need two cylinder uh, vases like this. Let's see, does it say what size? 7.31 inches. So it's almost seven and a half inches tall. So this is what, I'm going to go ahead and do two of them. You only want to do one, just grab one. So everything that I do, I'm going to be doing in pairs. You're going to need that. You're also going to be needing this little candle plate. It's called a candle holder, actually. And they, I think this is only one size that they have available at the Dollar Tree. It's got that little texture to it. But I'm going to go ahead and use it. Again, I've grabbed two of them. I'm also going to use the regular uh, candle holders that they have at the Dollar Tree. Just like that. And these votive holders. Or candle holders. And they've got a little bit of a fluted top here. And they've got a nice little rounded edges down here at the bottom. So they have some shape to them. Okay, so obviously we're going to need some candles. Now you can get the kind that's like battery operated that's not really, doesn't really turn on. I mean, well, it just turns on with the battery. You don't have to light it up with a match is what I meant. Or you can get actual candles. And I went ahead and I grabbed these. Uh, these are apple cinnamon. You can get any scent you want. You can get them in any color you want. I'm working with reds because that's what I use on my Christmas every year, reds. So I chose red. Now, um, I'm not going to light these up. So these are going to be purely decorative. So that's the only thing I'm going to tell you about this arrangement, is you probably don't want to light these up. You're just going to do this as a decoration, okay? If you want them light up, I suggest you get the little battery ones. Just make sure that they fit into your holder here, okay? If not, then do a little bit of improvising. All right, let's see. I've got some little extra items here that I also got at the Dollar Tree. I've got these acrylic gems. And I got these from their Christmas section, but they probably have them in the floral area. Well, they have a little floral section there. And uh, you can grab from there. They have them in different colors. I grabbed clear, of course, whatever you want to do. From their Christmas, I also got these little reindeer. And I wanted some deer, and I wanted them brown, but I couldn't find the right size to fit into the cylinder. So whatever you find, we're gonna put a be we're gonna be putting a little decoration into this glass. You want to make sure that it fits. Okay, so maybe you don't want to go with the deer, maybe you want to go with something else. Just make sure that it fits into your container. All right? Now, like I said, I wanted them brown. I did find some brown ones, but they were too big and they didn't fit. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just paint these with a little paintbrush. And I do have a little bit of a brown glitter. This one has a, a, like an iridescent glitter on them. So I'm just going to kind of just paint right over all of that. All right. Of course, if you like them white, then go with a white. Use white candles, all white if you want all that. Okay, from the Dollar Tree, I also got this faux snow. The little, little tiny little balls of snow. I'm going to use some of that in my arrangement. And as well as this snowflakes. Now, these I got from Hobby Lobby, and I've been using this packet. That's why it's already open. But this obviously, this packet has, has gone a long way. So I'm going to be using some of that. And some of this snow. You don't have to use this one. You can just use the flakes if you want. You know, one or the other is fine. Okay, so I also got some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I've got this little ribbon. This is a 5 8 inch in width. There's three yards on here, so there's plenty of that for my two arrangements. Okay. Also from the Dollar Tree and from their floral section, I've got this thicker floral wire. This, let me see if it says. It's 6 feet, and it says 1.8 feet three centimeters. It doesn't give me a gauge. Usually uh, some of these wires do. But I'll explain a little bit what I, why I'm saying that. This is a nice thicker wire and I grabbed this one because I want to make some rings from that. Okay, 
Also from the Dollar Tree, I got some floral bushes. I got these little poinsettias. I thought they were really pretty. You pick whatever you like, whatever color you want. I also picked these. They had some pine cones and some berries in them. I don't need them, probably. Maybe I do. I don't know. We're going to find out. So you just pick whatever you think you're going to need. Of course, from watching the video, you'll get an idea of what you're, how much material you're really going to need. So that'll be at the end because I'm sort of kind of making this as I go along. This is not something that I saw. This is something that I was standing at the Dollar Tree. And I know people that put together glass items before to create something bigger. So I wanted to do the same thing. And that's this is what I've come up with. And you'll, you'll work along with me. Okay, not from the Dollar Tree. I've got some pine garland. Now this was a, uh, I think it was nine feet to begin with. And I got it for like 10 bucks. At, uh, well, I didn't get it for 10 bucks. It was $10 and I got it for $6 from Hobby Lobby. So get yourself some garland. You're gonna use it for different uh, projects. I've been using the same garland for the past three uh, Christmas videos before this one. So as you can see, I still have some left over, so I'm gonna use some of this in this project. Just like the snowflakes from Hobby Lobby, I'm using them. Okay, so I need some tools. So I'm gonna need a little bit more floral wire. We'll find out as we go along. This is a 22 gauge paddle of floral wire. You can find wire like this at the Dollar Tree as well. I just happen to have this one, a big old paddle from Hobby Lobby, so I just keep using that. Uh, floral tape. You can skip this, but I'm gonna try and use it. Maybe I won't need it, but we're gonna find out, okay? So this is sort of like an optional, might use, might not use item. We're gonna need some glues because we wanna glue these little glass pieces together. So I'm gonna be using E6000. And E6000, I get this from Hobby Lobby. You can get it from, I think, Michael's. Uh, I'm pretty sure Michael's. Well, they used to carry it. And uh, I think maybe Walmart, I'm not really sure. But E6000, you're not gonna find that at the Dollar Tree. But what you'll find at the Dollar Tree, you will find this um, all fix or fix all super glue tube. This is also really good. You can use this product. I just happen to like the E6000 over this one, but you can use either one. We're also going to be using our glue gun. The glue gun, of course, I'm going to use it for uh, decorative purposes of my little flowers and so forth and the ribbon and so forth. But I'm also going to be using it when I glue these items together because this will give me a quick fix or a quick bond, I should say, because my E6000 needs an overnight to dry. Okay, but because I want to do this all in one day for you, I'm not going to be giving it that time to dry. So I'm going to be using my glue gun. So, of course, I need some glue sticks. Now, uh, you can just skip over and not do that and let your items dry overnight and then come back the next day and decorate them. But if you want to go ahead and do it all in one day, get yourself your glue gun and your glue sticks. We're going to need wire cutters. We're going to be needing some scissors to cut up our ribbon. And... Uh, I think that's it. If I think of anything else or decide to leave something out, we'll find out as we go along. So let's get started. All right, so I'm back and I've gone ahead and I've painted my reindeer in some brown craft paint. All I did was use some of this acrylic craft paint and I happen to have some little packages of glitter. These I also got it from the Dollar Tree. You'll find this in the little craft area. Now you don't have to do this if you find obviously a little ornament that'll fit into your container but I did because I wanted it brown but you could certainly have left it the way it was so I've painted that I've let it dry <clears throat> then I've also cut up my bushes cut off all the I pushed up all the leaves all these little leaves and then cut them off the bushes and I've cut about about an inch or so of left on there of stem I did both of my bushes so I've got all my little pieces right here and I'm going to go ahead and put them over to the side and uh, it occurred to me that we could use a garland we could not have to use a garland so I'll explain that and uh, but let's go ahead and start building these uh, vases these items now before I glue anything to this I need to put something in there as I had said I wanted to put these a little deer so I'm gonna put some E6000 glue at the bottom it's little little hooves and some glue for my glue gun. So I just want to put that at the bottom little tip. So just glue, put some glue on your on your um, ornament that you're going to put in there. Put it in there first and see how it's going to rest and then put the glue onto it. All right, some hot glue. And I'm going to be covering the little hooves. There's going to be some snow in there. So it doesn't matter if 
you know, I have a big puddle of glue on them. Okay, so I'm just gonna push in there, push it down, and hold it for a little bit so the glue, the glue gun glue will dry. That's why I'm using the glue gun also, so that it keeps it in place. Okay, so now that um, our reindeer is in there and it's in place, I'm gonna fill it up with some of these snowflakes that I got from this package that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can find them anywhere else. Just go ahead and go get that. So I'm just gonna put in as much as you want. I wanna make sure his little feet are covered because I was grabbing it as I was painting it from its little hooves. So some of the paint came off. Now the obviously the, the paint doesn't go on all that great on it because of the little glitter bits on it. So if you wanna if you wanna paint it, I would suggest maybe sanding it down very lightly or scrubbing it or somehow removing some of the some of the glitter so the paint adheres. Okay, so I'm gonna put about that much sn uh, snowflakes in there. And of course, everything that I do to this one, I'm gonna do to the other one. And then I'm gonna take some of these gemstones. And there's enough in one bag. So I'm not gonna need to open up my other bag. I don't think I said, but if in case I did, I bought two of these bags because I wasn't sure how many I was gonna need or use. So I actually only needed one. So you wanna keep that in mind. If you don't wanna have extra gems, then don't purchase them because that's a dollar you'll save. So I'm just gonna throw enough in there that I think looks pretty maybe. A couple more, there we go, just like that. That's how we want it to look, okay? So we're gonna put these gems aside. Oops, one fell out, put it in there. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna glue this plate, and I've got some glitter on it because I was using the glitter over this little plate when I was putting it onto the, I painted it, so while the paint was still dry, I sprinkled the glue so it'll stick on there with the paint, so I don't have to use a separate glue or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna put my plate on here so I can kind of take a look. More or less, it's got these like little footsies. So that's the other thing you wanna make sure. Now this particular plate that I got at the Dollar Tree, which is really the only one I've ever seen, fits fine on top of this cylinder. But if you're gonna be using something different, just make sure that, and if it does have little feet, that they do either fit on the outside of the cylinder or on the inside space, okay? So just wanna take a look at that, measure, you know, Put your things together in the store to make sure that they that they fit well enough. Otherwise, you know, you might have a little bit of a problem. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and just put some of this E6000, and I'm going to try and direct this glue kind of like on the outer edge, not on the inside, because I don't want it dripping on the inside. If it drips on the outside, it's okay. I've got this product. Let me show you. I've got this product, Goo Gone. It'll help me remove it and the great thing about the E6000 it doesn't dry immediately so you can wipe it off and you're just careful as you're doing it so you don't spread it around too much and then you can just use that goo gun to help you remove any sticky residue so make sure that you're placing this glue so that if it does drip it'll drip to the outside. Now I shouldn't, but it might. Now I'm going to put some hot glue just to make sure that I have a, an immediate bond for the purpose of the video. Otherwise I would just put the E6000. I'm going to do the same thing with my glue for my glue gun and direct it on the outer edge. I don't want it to drip to the inside. I don't want to see glue all dripping after the fact on the inside. Okay, so now Place the plate on top. And just press down on it lightly. I want to make sure it gets on there. Okay. All right. There we go. Just slide it. Yep. It's staying on. Otherwise, it would have already fall off, fallen off. Okay. Now the other. This is our our candle holders here. And the next one is to glue this one down onto that. So we're gonna turn this around and put some glue on the bottom edge here. The same as we did with the other one. Now this one doesn't matter which way it goes because it's not gonna drip. I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna turn it the other way, so if anything it'll drip onto the plate. And then we're gonna cover that up. So but you can always wipe it down as well. 
I need a C6000 on there. And then with my hot glue as well, just here and there to make sure I get a bond. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this around, look at it from the top, and then put it down onto the plate before you set it down because you don't want to have it way over here and then you have to scoot it over and then you have all this glue smeared everywhere. So just, just like that. And if you have to, you can put a little bit more glue, but I think that'll be good. You can see that on there. The next step is to glue this container to the top here. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue on this part here. Again, with my E6000. And I think you can see where this is going. An elaborate piece. Now, you could not use this at all and just put this straight onto here. And it looks really cute. But I really wanted the extra height because I'm gonna put garland and flowers here. So that's why I chose to put this candle holder on here as well. Plus it gives it more height, more elevation, and it just makes it nice and taller. It makes a great centerpiece or something on a side table, and it won't get lost because it'll be nice and tall. It'll also make a nice gift. Okay, so just make sure that it's also centered on that. I probably should have removed that label, and I didn't, but okay, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it there. But that's it, look. And then you would just let this dry completely, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Okay, I'm gonna explain something real quick because I said to get get some garland and I'm gonna use my garland, but I'm gonna tell you what my first thought was when I was buying things at the Dollar Tree. I got this wire, so I figured I would make a ring that could go around and rest on top of this plate. And of course I would measure like more or less. Okay, here's where it would then get twisted. Oops, sorry, let me get this. While it's on here, I would then twist these ends that overlap each other. I would twist them together, or you can make them big enough where you could just slide it down. Okay, you could just do that. Okay, so then to this little ring, we would build a little wreath for our candle. So you just, you know, make it as round as you can. And these stems that you've cut, you've left uh, an inch or an inch and a half of length, maybe even two inches. You would then place them on here. And this is why we were going to need our floral tape because then you would take it. I'm going to go ahead and build a little bit of it, but I'm not going to do that idea. The reason that I'm going to, I'm going ahead and telling that was because that was my original thought. And also if you didn't buy the garland and you're just making this and you just want to get your items from the Dollar Tree, this will help you to say, okay, well I can just do it this other way. I don't have to go buy garland, but they do have some garland at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I just don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. I like everything else, but I just don't like the garland. Okay, so what you do is you just cut off a piece of the... And you probably want this to be a little bit longer. I kind of kind of short because of the idea that I decided I'm going to use. Uh, so anyway, you get these, and then you're going to use your floral tape. And you're going to pull on the floral tape just slightly, and that kind of releases the, the adhesive in the floral tape. So there you go. You just put it on there like so. And then you would take your next piece... And then you continue doing that and so forth whatever piece you want to use and you would fill up this so you probably need more than just one or actually these are two bushes you might need three bushes to con to make a little garland out of this and then of course this would just slide I'm just gonna pretend it's all put together this would just slide over it and let's put it the other way around this way because the little flowers facing up okay so then this would be all taped up onto here so just imagine this okay just imagine all these little flowers and pine actually maybe just two bushes will be fine and then of course all the little berries that it came with they would all be taped down and of course I've got more flowers so then you would just kind of space it out and then tape them okay so the, all these would fit on here just fine and then you would have a little garland going all the way your, around your arrangement but I decided that I want to use um, the garland that I purchased, a little piece of that. So that's one idea, okay? That's what you can do if you don't want to 
or if you don't have this garland. You can make a little ring and then tape things around it. Okay, let's move that out of the way. We're not going to need that because we have a garland. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off enough of this garland to fit around. And I want it to fit snugly around here. This is not going to slide up and down. I'm just going to measure so that it fits snugly. And it won't, you know, pop out. I don't want it to. Oops, I'm cutting in the wrong spot here. Let's get in there. There we go. Okay. I was trying to cut too much so I wasn't going through. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your garland and you're going to direct all your little branches on it all to this, the same way. Face them all to the right or if you're left-handed, face them all to the left. Just pull them out and then have them go in one direction. Okay? So that on one side, you, this is your wire, and these are all your little branches. So now, right here where you have your wire, that's what you're going to bring around, okay? And round it off, bend it so it'll be rounded. Grab your, I decided this is going to be my front, okay, for whatever reason. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on here, and on the back, I'm going to grab two of the branches and then just twist them together, okay? So then the next thing I want to do is I want to take all my little branches and kind of curve them a little bit and have them going all in the same direction so that they look nice. And it'll give me a base where I can glue all these little flowers and the pine where I can tuck all that in. Okay, and there we go. Now it fits nicely around here. And I'm just gonna put some drops of glue along the bottom edge of this, this candle holder on this little part here. So where the, the wreath rests onto, it'll get glued onto there. And obviously it's not very permanent, but it's good enough just to keep it still. Okay, so now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put a little bow. So I'm gonna take my ribbon and you could use a wider ribbon, of course. I'm using this little thin one. And uh, I'm gonna make an eight loop bow, but I'm gonna cut off a little piece of my floral wire. Let's put that over to the side. I'm gonna make a little tail about, what is that, four? Three to four inches. Make a little loop, twist, make another loop, so that I have four on each side. Pinch and twist, pinch and twist. For a minute there, I thought I had already run out of ribbon. I don't know why. It's, there's three yards on there, so there should be enough. There. Now you're probably thinking, what? You just ran out of ribbon. When did that happen? I'll explain. Now I'm just going to cut in my little ends here, little angles there. Put some wire on it. You want to learn how to make bows. I'm going to link down below creating handmade bows. I have a video and you can go look at that, give you some ideas how to make your bows. Close up. All right, so let's see. I am going to put my bow, this is the front. It doesn't have to be the front, but for your sake that you're looking at it, this is the front. I'm going to put the bow here on this side. And I'm just going to put some glue right here where the wire is, a little bit on the ribbon. And then I'm just going to tuck it in right here between my greenery, just like that, on the side there. Okay, so now I've got these four flowers, so I'm going to space them out, more or less. You know, they don't have to be all even. And I'm just going to tuck them in. So I'm just putting glue on the little stem, and I'm tucking them in here and there on my wreath. I've got more space over here. Right there. And then another one right next to the bow. Right here. So there you go. And I could stop there, but of course I have that other little um I had the other little bush that had the little pines. And this one was part of this and it had a little pine cone too. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this big 
bushy bit back here, opposite from my bow. Kind of opposite, not really, but it's sort of. Okay, and I'm gonna take these little berry ones. I'm going to put one down under here, and I'm gonna have it kind of hang down a little bit. And the other one, I'm gonna put it on the opposite side. I need more glue in my glue gun. Always gotta stop and put more glue. Okay. Been doing stuff all day, it's getting dark out. I don't know if lighting is different from when I first started. Okay, so now I've got these little pine cones, one that was already on the, on the bush, and then this other one that was on this other bush. I'm gonna put one on this side of the bow. I don't want to squish the bow down, so make sure you don't do that. And then I'm just going to fill the other ones in little spaces. Because there's ivory from the bow and the and the, and the points. I just have this one that has a little bit of ivory. I'm going to put this one on this side, just to balance the color of the bow on the other side. Okay. And let's see. One right here. Yep, and then one on the opposite side over here. And there we go. Look at that. It looks so nice and full with the garland, so that's why I decided the garland. And um, so there you go. You have your choice of purchasing this wire to create a little to create a little ring, and also getting some some of this floral tape. And they do have this type of floral tape. They're at the Dollar Tree. I got this one, I think, at Michael's a long time ago. But anyway, um, then you're just going to use that to wrap your stems onto your, your wire form and create a wreath, a little wreath. Or you can use the garland to create your ring and put all your flowers onto that. And just use your glue gun. I think this was the easiest way. So if you happen to have some garland, do that. All right, so now we want to put the candle and some snow that's going all over the place I opened up the package already so and I have a little fan blowing to keep me cool and with all these lights so it's it's blowing them all over the place okay I'm gonna get some of the snow and I'm gonna fill in this top candle over here let me see if I can get it open it was all this little snow coming out of it. you think it would be... Okay, so we're just going to pour some in there. They're little styrofoam balls. Just shake it so it'll kind of level out. And then put your little candle on top. Now, I tried putting the candle in there first because I wanted to test it out. I tried putting the candle in there first and then pouring the little snow bits in there. But what happened is because the candle is really snug on some parts here, the the... The snow would only go down to a certain point and then you would see the bottom of the candle. So I decided to lift up the candle out of there and decided that it would be something that I would place in after the fact, after I put the snow. So there you go, that's it. There's my candle holder. I think it looks lovely. And guess what? I had already made the other one. Ha <laughs> ha! And that's why I decided that I wanted the garland instead. And I just realized I put way more snow in this one than I did in this one. So. I'm just going to balance it out. Let's pull this out. Now, if you don't want to put candles in there, um, you can put a little ornament or put some little, some more flowers in there if you want it. A little tea light if you want it to do that, a little battery operated tea lights. There we go. There's our finished candle holders and we've got a pair. You can make a pair. You can just make one. You can make a whole bunch, decorate a whole bunch of centerpieces. If you're having a, um, maybe at your work, you're gonna have a Christmas dinner and you can have several tables. You can certainly do that. You can change this idea for a wedding. Heck, you can use this idea for so many different holidays. So here we go. These are my Christmas Dollar Tree candle holders. I hope you enjoyed my idea. I hope that you will make it as well or you're inspired to do something similar. Please give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below. And uh, like I said, tell me what you think. And also please, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. There's a red button below the video. There's one off somewhere right around here with my little logo on it. You can click that and you'll be subscribed. It won't even interrupt any of the video. 
So just do it real quick. It doesn't hurt <laughs> to push the button. And um, I'd really, really appreciate it. I want to thank all the people that have already subscribed. And as always, enjoy. Thank you.